Welcome to Raigoku.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to add Jira link in Confluence pages. So if you're new to this channel and you're looking forward to understand about Confluence pages in detail, please watch my complete playlist. And if you're not yet subscribed this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with today's agenda then we'll be further with practical demo we'll discuss here what is jira link how to add jira link in confluence pages and with practical demo once you log in you're able to see the screen where you will see jira software as well as confluence pages post login or post selecting your confluence site you're able to see this dashboard where you are, can see your species are available. Now, if you want to add specific Jira link or URL, you need to create a confluence pages where you can enter the page details or Jira URL so that the Jira link will be added inside your pages. Post creating your page, we you need to update title of this page. Let's rename it as a Jira operations as a title name of this page. Then if we want to include any specific URL of Jira, we have to type forward slash then include the URL. We can also include the Jira issues roadmaps and operations which we are looking for but let's understand what is jira link jira link is basically when we are working on our specific project or organization's project chart and we want to create any documentation related to that project we will add the jira link or the issue if any specific issue is open for particular functionality. Whenever we are adding a Jira link or issue details, we need to include each and every details like adding their URLs, adding the descriptions link, as well as if we have any pages, we can also include it. If we have any open defects or sprint related detail, that is also possible to add it. Whenever we are adding a Jira, we need to press forward slash, then write to Jira, then you will see these four options will be available. Whenever you select any of the option, definitely that will need your admin permissions. If you have not integrated your Confluence pages with Jira. So once you click on contact admin, it will trigger an email for administrator to provide the access. Post entry detail, you will definitely able to log in the page. You can see here advanced roadmap for Jira plans is also available where you can include your advanced roadmap for Jira plan. If you want to include the Jira plan, then definitely you need to go to your Jira dashboard. From there, you can select your project and from the particular project, you can include your complete roadmap for adding a Jira plan. Then from here, you can select the project details or the dashboards which you want to include it. So if we want to include this dashboard that is defect dashboards, we need to copy the URL and paste it to the particular link. Post entering the link, when you will click on insert, that page will be added for your required piece. As of now, there is a no link available for this particular page. Then you can copy and paste and try it out from the domain perspective so here we can also click on learn more 
and from learn more pages you will see different aspects which is mentioned which all components you can include it whenever we are ready to export our plan data we need to include or share our plan any view setting that we have applied will be visible to all viewers for this reason we it's already recommended to use particular account which is created for you so let's say if we want to include any specific issue in our pages we need to click on forward slash and then type issue once we we'll type issue we are able to see the issue will be added and for the particular this settings we need to have the administrator login integration with confluence and jira pages so by this way we can include our issues or defect inside our confluence pages which is available in jira so this is the benefit we are talking about the in perspective of confluence and uh, jira and definitely the administrator permission will be required and this will also trigger an email message to the administrator whenever you want to include it so here you can see different aspects are available uh, whenever we are adding any of the links you can type any keywords and that keywords will be populated for your required fields so this is again it is asking for the administrative permission where you can include the detail so that's all about adding jira link inside our confluence pages and whenever we are adding we need to make sure we have to include the complete url and the detail so that's all about adding jira link in confluence pages hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching